our our broadcast today and what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, and let me say our, the word of encouragement. As you all know, there are certain issues and things that we deal with that we know for for they a didn't. fact that it's a struggle to let those issues go. Come on, amen. And it's not that we don't want to let it go. We and we. It's not that we don't understand that. Hey, this is bad for me. It's just that we we like it. Uh oh. <laughs> Quiet on this live. We we like it. Quiet on this Catholic live today. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. We love what it is that we need to be delivered from. Watch it. Hey Amen. Come on. If that it, come on here. Watch it. We 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 not we not Don't all leave. we not all that perfect. Stay here. Don't Amen. leave. Don't leave. We're the not lab. all that holy that we can't admit that some of the things that we know we need to be delivered from are the very things that we really 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 like doing y'all not gonna keep it 100 on this live come on on this catholic live y'all quiet look at it ain't nothing (laughs) no hearts all the hearts went down don't leave stay right here my god today but listen the bible tells us to lay aside every besetting sin amen every weight every Every weight weight. that's it every weight and besetting sin that's it amen and so the problem is that we're holding on to the weights and the besetting sin is because we enjoy it and the lord is saying that is the very thing that i'm trying to get from you that is the very thing that's keeping you hindering you from the next place in me that is the very thing that i'm trying to you know come on talk that out break you free of so you can get the (laughs) So you can get the breakthrough and the release and the things that I've already predestined for you. My God. He said, but I can't give it to you if you're holding on mm. to the thing that you so love. Jesus. Amen. Ooh. Come on here. It got you know, quiet again. God is calling for holiness in this time. Come on. It's okay. Holiness is right. Now we ain't perfect. Nobody's perfect. Listen, Mm-mm. I got listen, I got a shirt that says, okay, uh, a prophet that's holy, but that's but what that's not per I'm not perfect, but I'm holy. holy. Amen. Because mm-hmm. we, we understand we make mistakes that's and we right. do things that you know that's not always right and we think things that are not always right and you know, come on here, we're human, we're in this flesh, but this Talk. flesh is nasty. My God today. Come on here. This flesh, there's no good thing that dwells in it. That's Amen. Right. It likes things that the spirit don't like. Come it on. wants to do things that the spirit don't want to do. Watch it. Amen. But we got to be real with ourselves. And Jesus. we got to be real with God and say, God, listen, this is an issue. Tight, but it's right. I like this. Uh-oh. And, I, and I need you to help me. Uh-oh. A lot of times we say, God, take this away from me. <laughs> take it away. But we're not saying, God, I like this. Ooh. I like this, it God. It got quiet again. Remove the, the taste from my mouth because I, I like this. Or, God, I, I like that touch. Or, Watch I like it. that feeling. Oh, or, my I, God. I like, you know, come on here. Who's getting x-rayed today? I'm not married, God, but I like the touch of a man. I like, I like what it feels like when he's holding me and when he's, you know, doing things that married people do. Good. Come on here. Are we, are we talking good today? Come Y'all on quiet here. quiet on this Catholic live. I keep trying but to But we're not that. being honest with God and saying, God, I like what I'm doing. But what we're saying is the devil made me do it. Watch it. And the devil looking like, I didn't make you do that. You wanted to do that. Stop blaming him. Come on, we can't blame the devil for the things that we do ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a good word. Come on, David. Let, let, let's talk about David. I love David. I love King David. Don't we love him? Come on here. I love King David, but David had an issue. Come on. Come on, he was looking at Bathsheba and he said, oh my God. Come on here. Okay. That flesh look good. That flesh look good. I need all the men to testify. And that flesh look and, good. And, and he said, I want that. He said, I want it. He said, I, what I'm looking at, I want. And guess what? Come on here. He went and got what he was looking for. Watch it. But he but guess what? It wasn't right. My God today. Come on here. We every, listen. Yeah. If we if we gonna be truthful today. Come on. Amen. If we're going to receive true deliverance, come on. If here. we're going to receive the things that re- that God really has for us, mm. come on here. We, this is not judgment. This is not condemnation. It's not. Amen. It really isn't. But this is breakthrough hour. Come on My here. This God is an today. hour of breakthrough. And God said, "Listen." He said, "They that worship me must worship me in spirit and, and in, in truth. truth." Come on here. The truth is, I'm going. The truth. Is, come on here. The truth That's is, right, Ashley. I want. <laughs> said, I want. What I can't have. Come on here. Even though I I know it's not right for me to have it, I'm going to go get it anyway. Ooh. 
And ain't that what we've been doing? Uh-oh. But I mean, well, I haven't been. But I, I have a past. My God. I know in my past. Hello? I knew after I got I gave my life to the Lord and I was saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. Talk but there's some it. things that I was like, uh uh-uh, uh, I want I want that over there. Watch it. Hello? Come what on you here. Want? It, I mean, it, I don't want to. I don't want to now. I'm okay. talking about then. All right. I'm about, okay. We need to. I'm talking clarify. about then. You didn't tell me that. I'm talking about then. Come the on. Transparent come on. moment. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Yep, hold, hold, the hold the Thank press. Hold the press. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> we good. It was things that I wanted. Talk. But I knew God was. Saying no, you uh-huh. you can't have that. Come yeah. on here. I wanted to, you know, I got saved. I remember rededicating my life back to the Lord, Come and on. I was holier than now. I was like, oh Jesus, yes, Lord. Yes, and then Lord. came Friday night. Hello, I got a phone call, and they were like, "Come on here, Margaret. What, what you what you doing?" What? And I was like, well, "What you doing?" They were like, well, "What you doing?" Wait I said, minute. "I'm going with you. What wh- where we going? Come on here." And the Holy Ghost just said, "Hold on a second. Help us today." Hold on, I don't leave you when you go to the club. Jesus. Now, you may put me to the side. Watch it. Come on here. But I'm still right there. God My says, God I'm under today. every rock. You better Come talk. on here. He said, I'm even in the secret places. My God. There is nowhere you can hide from me. Come on. Come on here. You tell me even when they naked? Even when you're doing things, you know, yeah. <laughs> when you're doing things you ain't supposed to do. When you're naked. And so I had to tell Watch God, it. I had to be, you know, and then, you know, I would feel bad and I would feel so condemned. I'd be like, here. oh my God, I done went to the club and I didn't, I didn't twerk, twerk, twerk something Wait and I didn't oh. shook something. Wait a and, minute. And, yeah, come on here. Shook, if, if, we're gonna, if we're going to be real about this, come okay. on here. Praise the and, Lord. And I, I told, and, and so listen, no, really, really, come on here. Come on, yeah. 19, save? Come on, oh, okay, yes. 19. You, you okay. twerking and working something. Okay, you know, just checking. I'm, I'm saying, I would, I would, I was saved in, in, uh-huh. in word, but I uh-huh. wasn't saved in, in action. Go ahead. You know, my heart, you know, like I said, you can, you can be saved uh-huh. outwardly, but come on, saved is a condition of the heart. Come on here. Come on here. So, so true. So listen. So I, I went, but I was uncomfortable. I came back and I felt so condemned. Wait a minute, you was uncomfortable doing what? Twerking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she the first one I know to testify and say she was uncomfortable I sure twerking. was. I was uncomfortable. Well, it's a bunch of people on here that was twerking that was not uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable. <laughs> That's where they live. My though. twerk had an uncomfortable twerk. Uh, uncomfortable I had, a, I had twerk. an uncomfortable Ooh, that twerk. That wasn't a good twerk. It, was, was it probably was a good twerk, but no. it, was, it was an uncomfortable twerk. That's one of them twerks you say, mm-mm. So listen, so I, I go home. Help us today. And I'm feeling condemned. I mean, I'm feeling this small. Come on here. And I'm like, God, you know, I am so sorry. And the Lord is like, no, you not. And I was like, oh, why would you say that, Jesus? Mm. I am. <laughs> I'm sorry because I don't want to do this. And the Lord said, yes, you do. Woo. You're not sorry. My God. And my shire. Oh, I feel the Holy I Ghost. I do too. That's powerful. He said, you're not sorry because he said, you like what you do. Woo. But, but then he, this, this was the realization. Shall my grace abound? Hallelujah. Shall you continue to sing that my grace? And I was like, ooh, are you, what you saying, Jesus? Mm. Are you saying you finna do, hold on, what? Watch it. So that was the first time. And I was just like, Lord Jesus. Come on. I am so sorry. I'm never going to do it again. In my heart of hearts, I knew the next week I got that call. Watch it. I was, I was going to twerk something. Twerk something again. I'm just saying, twerk something again. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm just saying, didn't tell me because I wasn't part. being real she didn't tell me with Jesus. Part. I wasn't being real with God that, hey, come on here. That what I, but what I needed to be delivered from, I like doing. Watch it. Come on here. And then I begin to, <laughs> then I begin to blame the devil. Oh my, the next time I went, I was blaming my right, friends. Bro. I was saying my, my friends was a bad influence. Uh-huh. Come on, we begin to blame other people for the things that we fall short in. Mm. And we never put that mirror up. And we never look at ourselves. Come on here. Come on here. I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, baby. Olivia, uh-uh, she asked me to go to the club. Watch uh, it. Uh, me, me and them asked me to go. And I'm like, oh, Jesus, you got to get these these unfilthy friends from around me because they're making it. me do stuff I shouldn't be doing. And the God, <laughs> and, and the Lord was like I'm fifty, no, honey. Come on, it's you. It's you. It ain't Come your friend. Here. It's you. It ain't your friend. That's it's good. you. Good point. That's real good. You going because you want to go. Uh oh, somebody say, man. Come on here. You Come got on, say to, out if it hurts. To, to, own, to that own self be true. Come on here. If you caught up with some young man and he ain't your husband, it's because you're choosing to do that. 
That ain't the devil. It's you. Come on My here. God the Bible says you can't be tempted unless it's something that you're already desiring to do. It's within your flesh. It's already, already within you to do That's it. That's right. Come My on God here. Today. We got to be real with it. Come on, y'all. I had to be real and tell the Lord and tell the Lord, you know what, God? I'm filthy. I'm nasty. I'm raggly. And I need you to deliver me right now because the very thing My that God. you're telling me that I can't do, God, I love doing it. Jesus, help us today. Hallelujah. Mighty quiet again. Them hearts went down. In my shot. On this Catholic life. Come on, this is how, this is where deliverance takes Come place. On here. When you admit the things that you're doing wrong. When you admit that, hey, this is me. It ain't them. It ain't the enemy. It ain't her. It ain't him. It ain't the church. It ain't my mama. It ain't my daddy. It's me. Amen. It is me, oh Lord, that's standing in the need of prayer. My God today. Come on here. Mm. Yep, Let's talk about this rejection thing. You know, we don't go around people or we, we, God, this person rejected me. This person did that. No, could it be it's you? Come on. Sometimes we have to turn the mirror to ourselves. That's right. What are we doing to keep people away? What are we saying to keep people away? What, Tight you know, right. what type of demeanor are we putting up? Come on here. You want somebody to read your mouth? We ain't read no minds around here. We got psychics around here. We not Amen. Do Shia to Messiah. We're not psychics around Come here. Come on here. Hallelujah. Come on. We got to start looking at ourselves. My God today. Come on here. Yes, Lord. We got to turn that mirror and look at that reflection. That's good. And we got to admit truth that, hey, this is me. Hallelujah. And God, I need deliverance from me, not the enemy. Come on. Come on. Not the demon that you keep the demon. Make. No, deliverance from me. That's good. We're our own worst, you know, friend. Or enemy. Enemy. That's friend. right. Yeah, you know, because sometimes, we, you know. Friend or enemy. I'm with you. I'm you, I'm, Hallelujah. I'm Come on here. We got to we got to be able to do this in this hour. That's right. This is what this time of resetting is for. This time is this time is just not for blessings and and yes, God wants to do all of that and some. But he wants you to start being real. My you got to be real about it. Hallelujah. We can't be holier than thou. We point the finger at everybody else, but we fail to look at ourselves. That's right. We fail to look at the issues and problems that we're dealing with within ourselves. That's right. Some of us, we, we, we suffer from issues of jealousy and insecurity. Mm. And we don't like people just because. And we say, oh, I got, oh, I just have a feeling about them. And I just don't know. I can't put my finger on it. No, it's on you. It's you. My God. That ain't the Holy Ghost. It's you. Because the last time I checked, when we all get saved, we, we, we are filled with the same Holy Ghost. That's good. There is no other Holy Ghost. So how is your Holy Ghost telling you something different about somebody else that's filled with the same Holy Ghost? It's good. Unless there is a problem. Hallelujah. Come on here. We got to start looking at ourselves. Hallelujah. We got to stop putting stuff on other people. That's right. Sometimes it ain't them. It's us. It's you. Oh, I just got a, oh, uh, uh, my spirit that told me something, you know, in my spirit, I just, ooh, don't feel good. Maybe that's an insecurity that's there within you that when this person comes around, guess what? It's highlighted. That's right. It's, 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 it's what you call it? What's that word? Highlight. Not highlight. Oh. It's, I mean, it's magnified. highlighted. It's magnified. Right. Do you know our insecurities are magnified when people that come, when, when others come around us have things that come we on. don't have? That's right. The anointing, when, when we, when there's something that we're seeking God for, if there's something we, we feel like we don't have, and there are others that may come around in our presence that may have it, and we feel a certain type of way. No, what's, what's being magnified is that jealousy that's going on. Amen. She cute. She ain't did nothing to you. Come on here. And you mad at her? Why? Cause she look good. Cause she look good. She, she got killed. her hair together, and, and 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 she and she taking over the room. Come on, we gotta stop. <laughs> you you know. <laughs> I'm just saying. I've seen it with my own eyes. We we gotta stop, y'all. We let, got we let got. Let me say okay. this: deliverance Profit. is not enough. Profit Green. We need to be free. Understand this. Deliverance is not enough. We need to be free. A lot of us, we set, we get satisfied with just being delivered. Deliverance takes you out of the place that you're in. 
But freedom actually does something to your mental capacity. It changes your mind, your mindset. And so that's why it's so important that you don't just get satisfied in being delivered, but that you continue on the journey of getting free. We have to be free in this next season of, of, of our lives and what God is trying to do with us. Very important to understand that if we don't understand the importance of freedom, we'll continue to stay on this cycle that we're in. And a lot of us right now, we don't even have uh, enough courage uh, uh, and, and enough faith to even believe that God can 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 really set us free because we've been we've we've allowed ourselves to just get used to falling short. And don't get me wrong. All of us have fallen short. I, you know, we're included with this. We're not talking from, you know, just you know, we picked the subject. This is something that we've experienced ourselves or mm -hmm. we experience ourselves. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to give you some things to liberate you. To make you free or to get you free from the place that you're in. Notice I said from the place that you're in. One thing I love about deliverance, it changes the whole scope or perspective uh, of your life. So meaning this, uh, when you're in sin and you give your life to God, you get delivered right away. The Lord is delivering you right there. Amen. But understand that deliverance is not enough. You got to get free. Mm -hmm. The children of Israel taught us that, right? They got delivered out of Egypt, but they wanted to turn back as soon as it got hard. Mm, I didn't good. say nothing to you. A lot of us on this live right now, you starting to, you want to turn back to the thing that you were comfortable in doing and that person or that idol or that habit, whatever that is, whatever God has delivered you from, that's the first thing or the first thing that comes to your mind because you have, you have gotten so used to it, it, it became habitual. So your mind is only doing uh, what you conditioned it to do. That's why it's so important that you resist the enemy. You resist temptation. The Bible says to resist the devil and he will flee from you. The problem is we don't resist. Uh, what we do is we persist. We, we, we just continue to go. <laughs> we go right back to what it is that we feel comfortable in doing. Uh, listen, let me tell you something. The enemy will only attack you at your weakest point. When you're strong, you... He can't do nothing with you. But it's when you start getting weak and stuff start getting hard is when that, that past starts to show up. Mm -hmm. But understand your mindset needs to be, Father, I'm delivered, but I need to be free. I need to be, listen, we call it whole. You need to be whole, right? There's wholeness that God wants to give mm -hmm. you. And, and it, it takes a made up mind uh, uh, and, and some resistance in order to get into that place. You cannot do it without the word of God. The truth shall, shall set you free. That's what the word says. The truth shall set you free. What is the truth? The word of God. The word of God shall set you free. A as you follow and submit to that word, the word will set you free. How do I get free from sin? I have to follow the word of God. Following the word of God, submitting to the word of God puts me in a place of freedom. Because now I'm replacing a habit with a habit. I'm replacing what I used to do and I'm turning to the word now and I'm creating a new habit. And that habit is following the word of God. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to help you today. You got to replace it with the word. And as mm -hmm. you replace it with the word, you will start to see your mind will be renewed. The Bible says your mind, your mind is daily. It's renewed daily. Mm -hmm. Give us this day our daily bread. That mm -hmm. word bread, you look it up, it's talking about the word, the word of God. You know, we eat bread naturally, right? To, to you know, to, to give us strength, to give us, uh, you know, so we can revive ourselves. Mm -hmm. it, it gives us, you know, a Stamina. substance. Mm -hmm. it, it allows us to, to be able to move. Mm -hmm. And so now if you're not eating the word or you're not reading that word daily, then what you're doing is you're allowing your flesh to outweigh the spirit. That's why it's That's so good. important that you you feed yourself just like you eat every morning, brush your teeth, wash your face. Come on here. Put that cologne on, perfume, whatever. What you do daily, you've got to incorporate now the word of God and you have to make up in your mind. I'm going to follow what it is that I'm reading. Listen, when you follow the word, that means you believe in the word. Amen. I didn't say nothing That's to you. That's good. If you're not following it, then, then we question in your belief. I didn't say nothing to you. It's not enough just to quote the scripture and know what it, what it, the Bible says and you not follow it. Many of us on this live, if you keep it 100, you, you don't even believe that God can heal you. 
I didn't say nothing to you. Oh, yeah, I'm coming for you today. Yeah, yeah, there's certain. You think that God can only heal special people or certain people. Mm-mm. And the Lord says, my healing, healing is a children's prayer. It's for everybody. But if you don't believe that, my God, today, you'll be looking for somebody to pray for your healing. And the Lord has said, I've given you a mouth. I've given you a heart. I've given you a soul. Believe. Come on. Mm-hmm. Believe on me. And watch these things come to pass in your life. Mm. We've got to now understand that the Lord wants us to believe what we read and what we know. So good. Come on here. Oh, that's so Very good. important to understand. Providence was talking about uh, b- being in a place of, you know, bondage as far as sin is concerned. Hear me. You've got to be you've got to allow God to bring you out of the process of being delivered into freedom. Because in freedom, you're going to find your identity. You're going to find out who you are. Mm -hmm. I didn't say nothing to you. You won't get your identity if you don't ever become free. Because that means fear lies there. And fear will cause you to to, to not be who God called you to be. I didn't say nothing to you. Amen. That's why you've got to allow God to complete the process. It's time to come out of the place of just being delivered. And ask God for your freedom. Amen. Listen, um, I was reading over in, you know, we got to bring a little word. You know, Matthew 19 chapter, the 16th verse. And Jesus now is encountering a rich young man. Amen. Come on here. And it says, now behold, one came and said to him, good teacher, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So he said to him, why do you call me good? No one is good, but one, and that is God. Come on. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. Okay, what did he say? This is his response to Jesus. Come on here. He said, which ones? Jesus said, you know, Jesus ran out all the commandments. And he says, well, Jesus, I did all of them. And Jesus said, okay. And I'm paraphrasing now because I know, you know. And, you know, Jesus like, okay, well, it's one you didn't do. Come on, tell the story. And so he was like, well, which one is that, Jesus? Yeah, I'm paraphrasing, okay. But she's telling the story, though. I love it. I like like to paraphrase. It's good. It's good. You're doing good. (laughs) And Jesus said, listen, go sell everything you got. Sell it. I mean, everything you got, sell all of that. He said, and then come follow me. Mm. That young man put his head down and walked away. My God. He loved it. He loved what he had. Woo. So what he had, he couldn't give it up because he loved it too much. Come on, talk. So he aborted heaven based off of what he loved to do. My God. Today. And listen, I'm going to tell you right now, that is not the plan and will of God for your life. Today. Come on here. Hallelujah. That's Come on. Problem. It's some things we got to give up in order to get, have the life that God wants us to have. Amen. In order to align with God's will and purpose for our life. Come Talk. on. Somebody say, I'm willing to give it up. I'm willing to give it up. Come on. Type Come on. It in put the it chat. in the chat. That's I'm willing it. to give it type up. Type it in the chat. Hallelujah. Come on here. You know, you know, if you're drinking and you have an alcohol problem and you and that's the thing you run to every time you get down, you get out. Come on here. God is your comforter. The oh whole. No, I'm sorry. The Holy. Well, he is. But the comforter, the Holy Spirit is your comforter. That's it. Come on here. While we lying on the drink, you drink. Come on here. Yeah. It, yeah. You know, it didn't impair you. It didn't make you not think drink. about things for a while. But yes, come Lord. on. As soon as you sober up, that problem is going to be right back to air. I oh got so why depend on something that will only give you release or, or relief for a moment? That's good. But you got a whole God over here that's ready to give you relief and breakthrough for eternity. My God today. Come on here. We got to give up the drinky drink. <laughs> Come on. I know about that too. Come on here. Hello, the drinky drink. You know, we get down and out. We, 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 we smoke a little something. Come on. Nobody else can see it but us. Come on. We go to the basement. You know, we're in the basement on Monday, but we in church on Sunday. Come on. Basement drinkers? Come on. Oh, my God. We can, Come on, y'all. We got to stop relying. Watch it. On what? Come on. What a please is this flesh. It's good. But it's because we love it. It's because we like it. My God. We got to get delivered from the things that, oh, Jesus, beset us. Woo. The sins. The Hallelujah. Sins you. Come on here. We we gotta let it go. Amen. We gotta be we gotta be willing to give this all over to the Lord Jesus Christ because He is willing. He's right here. Come and He's here. ready to take He's ready to take on it all, y'all. Come on here. Y'all hear me? 
Come on. We can't afford to miss what it is that God has for us. We My can't God. afford to miss this next shift. We can't afford to be left out. Come on. Whatever God is doing in this season, you don't want God to do it without you. Come on here. Hello. You don't want him to do it without you. My God. Today. God is not into temporary fixes and, 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 and all of that. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you permanently. Come on here. Hallelujah. My God. You can, know, we, you know, the, can I go just want, it's just one more. Go I ahead. To say, go ahead. You know, go ahead. You know, the pills. I want to, I want to talk about, you know, pain pills and all of these things that pain we do. Pills. Yeah. I don't know. I'm feeling this on the, on the live tonight. That's the Holy Ghost. You know, we can't rely, you know, sometimes we get down and out and, 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 and we, we, we go, we go to the bottle and we take pills, you know, to ease the pain or this is, this is easing the pain. But when, but when it wears off, you're back in pain. Back in pain. But you fail to realize there's a big old God there that can handle it. Ain't, listen, there is no problem too big that God can't handle that he's not even big. He's bigger than the problem. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. I don't know why we're going with pain, you know. But some of us, we get hurt. And we and we and we tend to do things instead of calling on God. We call on the drink, or we call on we call on the, the, him, or we call on her. Come on, her, come that's, on, come on here. That's good. We doing things we ain't got no business doing. But it again, we <laughs> like what we doing. My God, it's not because oh you know it's what I want to do. Jesus. But this is the thing we got to be truthful and honest about. My this God is the God. thing we got to tell the Lord, Lord, hey, Jesus. I'm here. You already told us our righteousness was as filthy rags. That's right. So God, I confess that. I confess that my righteousness is as filthy rags. I confess that, hey, like I'm not right. It's good. I'm in love with what I do. I'm in love with a man that I know that's not my husband. Mm. I like, I like, I'm, look, I'm constantly looking outside my that's marriage. That's on this live right now. She's I'm looking at a man. I'm looking live. at a woman. That's not, come on here, women. I'm looking at Help other us. women and I shouldn't be looking at, come on here. Mm. God, come today. on, help me. My God. Deliver today. me. That's right. Deliver me today. Mm. I don't want to be at the club every week. Talk and then posting about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. On Facebook. I'm so I'm, confused. So I'm confused. I'm you, very confused. You know, you, by that. that's bipolar. I'm confused. Either you serve them or you don't. The Bible said you can't serve two, 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 mas two masters. That's right. We're at the club on against, well, Saturday. I don't want to say Sunday. Church on Sunday. Too. And I would say still come to church. Still come to church. Just still get what you need. We want you but to there come is to a, church. There, but there is a doing. point where you have to admit to yourself, mm. man, I need help. My God today. This ain't right. Hallelujah. You know, we showing everything but the Bible on, on Facebook sometimes. We we have naked. And uh -oh. we and we mad when people say stuff about it. Help us today. But we're talking about God, you know, God, God granted me another day. And we and we on the and we on the post like this. <laughs> and everything's out. <laughs> huh? Whoa, probably. Or 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 Everything's showing. It's getting hot in here. Everything, listen, for real, everything's showing. Listen, everything's showing, y'all. Help us and today. I'm, I'm just sitting here. I'm a snack. Wait, no, no, we, listen, these men don't want a snack. They want a garden. No, they want a meal. Well, me, well, I said garden because of the fresh fruit. They want a meal. No, they and want the, a meal. A good meal put a man to bed. I didn't say nothing to you. Okay. They want a good meal. So get the snack mentality. Come on here. Let's let's loose Bring the meal. Let, let's loose this let's loose this snack mentality out snack. of here. Let's rebuke this snack mentality. Okay. Come on here. You uh you you know, we you know, yeah, get rid of the ooh, Jesus snack. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a snack when you get married, amen. Yeah. <laughs> Help us today. <laughs> I don't want to rebuke the snack mentality totally <laughs> because you know I'm a legal snack. You know, I can be... I can, a legal snack. I'm no, a, I'm she a, a whole meal, y'all. So let me say this. <laughs> let me say this. The rich man in that story, I, I want to make sure we pull, pull out what God did. He challenged him in an area where his heart was attached, where his trust or his faith was attached to. You do understand what you turn to, you believe in. When you get in trouble and you turn to that, that means that you're you're saying that that thing is the thing that brings you relief. It brings you breakthrough. It brings you uh, to a place of you know feeling like your 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 best self. 
And what the Lord says is, I'm a jealous God. And so the Lord already knew that this man, he, had, he prided himself on what he could do according to the money. But understand that whatever God has given you in your life or released to you in your life, it cannot take precedence over his presence. My God today, whatever you have, you have to understand that God says, I'm greater than that. A lot of us through this pandemic have found out that we're more than just what we do mm-hmm. or what we're capable of doing. Come on here. Some people uh, c- can have their identity trapped in their gift. Mm-hmm. And the Lord says that you're bigger than your gift. There's more to you than your gift. Your gift is just your ability or that special thing that I've released in your life to, 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 to help influence people to, to serve me. But beyond that, I'm concerned about you. Your soul, Mm -hmm. come on here. I'm concerned about what's going on uh, with you. What does it profit a man Mm -hmm. to gain gain the the whole whole world and lose lose his his soul? soul. We always try to uh, attach that to sin, but I want you to understand you can also put that in salvation because you're trying to win the world, but you're losing your soul. I'm trying to help you today. You're trying to, you're trying to be, you know, um, all you can be, but you're not doing any self maintenance. You're not allowing God to repair you. You, you are wounded while you're worshiping. I didn't say nothing to you. You are wounded while you're trying to give a word. You are wounded while you're preaching. Mm-hmm. And don't get me wrong. There are seasons where you have to do that, but it's not all the time. Come on here. And you got to understand that there are seasons in your life where God says that I need you to be whole. Mm. Mm-hmm. I need you to talk from a place of freedom, not just deliverance. My God Jesus. today, away with the just the deliverance uh, sermons and our testimonies. We want to hear freedom. My God, we want to be free. Come on. If you want to be free, type it in the chat. I want to be free. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord wants to release freedom in your life. Some of us don't even know what it feels like to be free Glory. because Thank we have you, just been satisfied by just being delivered. And hear me, deliverance will cause yeah, you to turn back. My God today, it, it, it's not strong enough, hallelujah, to pull you from uh, not just the place, but also your mindset, the change. I've got to reemphasize this because that's what the battle is. It's in your mind. The enemy is after your mind. He's after your will. He's after your emotions. Come on. Mm-hmm. He wants to use that So that you can forfeit what God has done for you. Jesus. And I'm sorry. I've been through too much hell uh, to allow the enemy to steal from me. Mm. It was hard enough getting delivered. Oh, my God. I'm talking to somebody right now. Come on here. I need you to reflect in your mind. You do realize you were snatched out of the hands of the enemy. You were on your way to hell. But, oh, my God, today, one day, hallelujah, the Lord drew you by his love and kindness. And he pulled you into a place and and he delivered you uh, from what you used to be. Come on here. But I need you to understand that, that the story doesn't end there. The Lord says that now that I have delivered you, now I got to show you what freedom looks like. It looks like me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Come on, I told you the truth. Truth is married to freedom. That's what freedom is. When you know the truth, when you have relationship with the truth, the truth shall set you free. Understand this. The Lord is more interested in your soul, my God, today, than you preaching to hundreds of people, thousands of people, or reaching all these folk. Hallelujah. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against that, but I need you to understand that. The Lord says that it's time for you to prioritize and put your, put yourself, hallelujah, in a place where you are now putting yourself before me. Come on here. Away with just being wounded and you giving us this wounded version of you. We want to see the free version of you. My God today, I can only give away what I have. My goodness today. If you're free, hallelujah, I wonder what that atmosphere would look like. I wonder what that sermon would sound like. I wonder what that word would sound like. Come on. I need somebody to get excited right now because I really feel like God is shifting you tonight. He's trying to bring you from a place of deliverance to a place of freedom. Hallelujah. Hear me. 
Freedom is not just contingent on external things. See, that's that's how you know you're not free yet because freedom is not depicted by any situation on what you have. It's depicted on God and what God is saying to you. It's depicted on how much you want to be with him, how much you want to suck with him, how much you want, how much you want to spend time with him. Understand that it's so important that you allow yourself to get into a place of freedom. My God, today you can be free. You will be free. You shall be free. Come on, somebody type it in the chat. I will be free. How God's not done with me yet. I've got to be free in this next dimension, this next season of my life, because somebody is dependent on my freedom. My God, today, you do realize if you're free, that means you can show me the way. You, you can't show me the way if you're not free. You can only show me how to be delivered. My God, today, how many want to show people how to be free? That's why you got to go through the process and allow God to free you. So that you can shift somebody's life according to your testimony. There's nothing like a testimony of freedom and understanding the difference. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's good. We're elevating tonight. God is doing something very special tonight in the area of freeing you from the place that you're in. I want to prophesy to some of you right now that God is saying that I'm moving you from deliverance to freedom. Come on, if that's you, say that's me. You need to blow your cover. Hallelujah. Come on, blow your cover. I'm going to be free. The Lord wants me free. Hallelujah. You talking to me, prophet. Come on. Yes, tonight is your night of freedom. God wants to free you. Hallelujah. And bring you out of a place. Hallelujah. Watch this. Uh, when you get delivered, you're coming from a delivered place. My God, today it's the pre-qualification. That's the qualification or the prerequisite for freedom. You got to get delivered first. Mm -hmm. You got to confess to God your sins and the things that you've done. And you've got to ask for forgiveness. And once you do that, you are now in a place of deliverance because now you are aware, fully aware of where you were. Come on here. Mm. When you know where you come from, that means that you are delivered my God today hallelujah but hear me it's not if you don't just stop there but God says I'm gonna bring you from that place of deliverance to a place of freedom and what that means is now you can turn around and talk to your past mm. and tell your past what to do come on see here. that's when you know that you're free your past will show up, but your future is so strong that it just overpowers, my God, Hallelujah. your past. It just talks to your past and say, why did you show up? You already know I'm not going to give you no attention. Come on here. Mm. I'm not going to give you the time of day, my God, today. See, that's a renewed mind. That's a changed mindset. That's a freedom mindset. When you understand that you can talk to your past and your past got to go. Mm. I didn't say nothing to you. When you're free, faith is your best friend. When Ooh, you're free, it's true. married to faith. Faith and freedom go hand in hand. They cannot be separate. They're married. Hallelujah. That's why fear can't get in. Because in the middle of faith and freedom is God. And there's no space, hallelujah, for fear to come. Fear don't live in this house no more. Mm. Hallelujah. I need somebody to blow your cover. Come on. If you're not ashamed, mm. come on, type it in there. Fear don't live in my house no more. Nothing but faith and freedom in God. Hallelujah. Lives in my house. Hallelujah. Your future has been called in you ever since you got saved. It was called in you before you got saved, but it's really calling you now. Your future is the one that's pulling you. Hallelujah. That's causing you to go after the things of God. Hallelujah. Your future is real. And let me tell you how you know it's real. Every time you open your eyes and breathe in and breathe out, it is a sign that your future is awaiting. It is a sign that your future is waiting on your mind to catch up with what God already did. I didn't say nothing to you. Hallelujah. I need you to catch this by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord says today, hallelujah, fear don't live in your house no more. Because mm -hmm. I, I dwell there. Hallelujah. So you ain't got to invite God in your house when he already in there. I didn't Ooh, say nothing to good. you. Uh, I wish somebody would tell me this. My house. Listen, I, we in my house right now. I don't have to be invited in my house. It's mine. I dwell here. I got a key. Oh, my God. Today. 
Hallelujah. And that's what the Lord is saying to you. Stop talking about, Lord, I invite you in. No, he's already there. He's got a key. Oh, my God, today. Wonderful Savior. The Lord wants to move in your life. Hallelujah. Like he's never moved before. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm, this is good. Yes, Lord. This is good. This is good. Hallelujah. Listen, if you all have not shared the broadcast, please, please, please share Share the broadcast. Let us know that you've shared it. You know, we just wanted to be Wonderful an encouragement Savior. to those that are listening and to others that may listen, hey. uh, go back and listen to the broadcast. We know, listen, this is something that uh, worldwide people are dealing with. Amen. Uh, and it's not that they don't love the Lord. It's not that they're not sold out for Jesus. It's just that there are some issues and some things that, Come on hey, here. we got to let go of. Amen. Amen. Um, like Prophet said, you know, early, early, early on, uh, and I know y'all saw me back there. I was trying to find a charger. Amen. Amen. We got one too. I got one. <laughs> That's a word for somebody Listen, right there. Amen. We just got a charge. Amen. Where my shot you just up? got a charge. Thank you, my Jesus. My God, you were weak, but God says I'm charging you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just, oh my God, I just interjected something in your spirit. That's going to cause you to get more power. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to cause you. I just connected something to you directly to me. Hallelujah. And it's directly, uh, directly you, giving you power this moment. This moment, hallelujah, when Shadow is a turning point in your life. For some of you right now, this is a turning point in your life because you are now getting a revelation of what it is that God wants you to have. Where the Hallelujah. Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yes, there Lord. is freedom. freedom. Come on here. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Hallelujah. If you're saying you got the Spirit of the Lord, then that means that you are living a free life. I didn't say that to you. Mm. You're not enslaved to anything. Hallelujah. I, that doesn't mean that things are not going to come after you. Hallelujah. Because I'm telling you right now, the things that's coming after you, they're only coming after what's free. They're not coming after what's already in bondage. Come on here. I didn't say nothing to you. If you're free, that's the reason why it's reaching. Come on mm, here, somebody. That is so Hallelujah. Good. So understand that it's, it's, it's all in God's hands right now. And I just feel that real strong. Uh, even we had, we had to get a charger for the phone, but the Lord says that that's what just happened. I'm charging your life right now. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I need you to receive that right now. My Ooh, that's so good. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, that wasn't by coincidence. Hallelujah. The Lord ordained this to happen. This is the word that he's releasing right now. He said, I'm giving I'm giving more power to the laugh. I'm giving more power to your life. Mm. Hallelujah. Keep it. Hallelujah. Come on, receive it. It's happening for you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. That's good. So listen, do what you need to do. Amen. Some of you is, you know, it's getting getting in that word. It's fasting. Come on here. Come on. It's praying. Come on here. Some of us, you know, we feel like we, you know, oh, uh, you know, I, I gave into it, you know, and I'm condemned. I might as well do it again. Come uh -uh. on. No, no, ma'am. Just be no, sir. Just because you fail, you know, don't mean that you can't get it. That that you can't get it right. Amen. What you did yesterday has nothing to do with today. Ooh, that's good. Hallelujah. That's right. Come on here. Amen. You know, like Prophet was saying, and I and I was getting ready to say this a little bit ago. You know, we we've been there. We've done that. That's right. Amen. You know, I remember, and I was talking about the twerk sessions and not what it, whatever have yeah. you. But I remember, you know, I wanted to be, you know, and this this is pre. Prophet Green, uh, I wanted to be married. Thanks for the disclaimer. Yeah, disclaimer. <laughs> I wanted to be married. I wanted to be married. But I understood that I couldn't be a wife to a boyfriend. And my Shia. Come on. We 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 wife and boyfriends. Amen. We can't listen, listen. Ooh, that's a word. We can't be a wife to a boyfriend. My God. Today. Amen. God has created you to be a wife to a husband. Mm. Hallelujah. So come on here. You know, I don't. So sometimes, yeah, you may you may like the way he look. You may like the way he dress. You may like the way he talk, the way he walk. You you may even like the way he tick tocking and all of that. But come on here. TikTok. If he if he don't belong to you, you got to let it go. TikTok. No, mm, they they tick tocking on here. Tick tock. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, we that's another lab, though. Okay, that's another lab. All right, TikTok. Yeah, tick, you know TikTok. You yeah, know, I, I, I know. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what they know, do all of that, that. That you know, yeah, and so all that. 
You yes. can't be a wife to a boyfriend. Come on here. You know, so I, you know, that's something I had, I had to realize. Even I liked him. He liked me, but I told the Lord, Lord, I want what you have for me. My God. So I made up in my mind. Come on here. I made up in my mind. That's right. That God, whatever you got for me, that's what I want. So he would come by the house. Y'all listen here. This is what I would do. And I got people that tell me this is what I would do. He would be at the door. I'd be sitting on the steps and I'd just be holding myself. I'd be shaking. I'd be like, ooh, Jesus. I'm, oh having, like, I'm having like a... a what? A convulsion? Something because I, I wanted to let him in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I wanted to let him in. Let him in. I did. Oh, I my did. God. I wanted to let him in. Okay. Yeah. But I made up in my mind <laughs> Wait a minute. that I wanted what God had for me. Pray for me, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Come no, on here. No, this is real. This is real. Because, listen, they don't They don't stop coming at you. They don't. When you make your mind up to serve the Lord. What? Come on here. What you used to do don't stop coming. Like you said, it don't stop. It don't stop just say, oh, she's saved now. Let me let me just They're go left. Uh uh. Matter of fact, I think for some reason being saved is attractive. To, it's the enemy because what the enemy says is okay. Oh my she, she, she saved. Wait a minute. We gonna get Who her. coming after you. I'm not talking about. See, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh God. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm talking about then. I thought you said you. I, but I'm talking. Did y'all hear her say I'm you? talking about me then. Then. Oh, okay. Then. Okay. Let me. I get, forgot about. Let then. me get back to what I was. I'm saying. sorry. Go see, ahead. I'm not right. private green. I'm sorry. I just I thought she was talking about you. I, I'm talking about I me heard you then. Say you. I'm talking about okay. then when I told the Lord. Okay. I mean, okay. So I made up in my mind and I told the Lord. Sorry. Lord, I don't. I don't want to do this any longer. So regardless, it may hurt. I may feel some pain behind it. Come on here. But listen, I want the will, I want your will for my life. So I would sit in my room, y'all, and I would pray like all day this long. This is true. I, I somebody told me this. So I, I know she's telling the truth. Somebody else told me. My this mama, my 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 de- my stepfather would say, Ain't nobody praying that long. And I say, Yes, they do, especially when they want to fornicate. Ooh. Yes, they is. When they when they when they when they when they flesh acting up, yes they is. My God, today I wanted to do something that I you know I I wanted to do it, but it was against the will of God. Talk. So I prayed my way through that thing. Y'all wow. don't even y'all don't even understand. Come on here. Yeah, y'all laughing. I'm serious. Yeah, I think they laughing at the three hours, seven hours sometimes, just straight, pr- just in prayer, fasting. I was a skinny old True thing. Story. I fasted and I prayed that thing up, and he would come by the house, and I'd be sitting there like I just like 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 it was a drug or something. <laughs> I'm in there like, oh Jesus, and you know, so I'm saying, girl, just get just open the door, girl, just open the door. You know, <laughs> come on here. And then Holy Ghost is saying, "You better not open that door." Come on and, here. And, and my flesh is saying, "Open the door." And, and you know, the devil steps in there too, girl. Listen to your flesh and open the door. You better not. You, 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 you know, he got you some candy. He Damn. probably got you. You know, he probably got you some. You, yeah, you know, because they they come they come with it. Okay, candy. that temptation is real. Come on here. My goodness. But you got to be fervent in prayer. Come on here. Hallelujah. Come on here. You can't you can't abort. Hallelujah, based off of what you see. Talk. See, guess what? If I would have opened that door based off of what I wanted and not what I needed, I think I would have forfeited my husband right here. Watch it. I'm going to be honest. Okay. And I thank God I didn't open that door. Don't open the door. Hallelujah. Every well, How many days was that? I don't know. I think Y'all that's, just went off for three months straight. Oh three goodness. months straight. So listen, I Ooh, fast. I don't know if thing. Olivia's on here, but uh, Olivia Stewart, but my she goodness. was there. Because uh, I would tell her, don't open the door. Period. I'd be like, don't open the door. Mm. And she would say, you know, and I would say, say I'm not here. Say I'm not. you. This is what you have to do. Ooh. This is what you, you can't keep opening the door talking Jesus. about, God, I'm struggling. No, you open the door. What you mean you struggling? Say it's not How a struggle you, when you open not, the door. It's not a struggle when you open in the door yourself. My God today. Come on here. Come on here. We got to get serious about our walk with the Lord. Keep the and door our closed. freedom and our deliverance. If we want to be delivered, if we want to be free, we got to do what it takes no matter how much it hurts. My God We got to kill this flesh. Mm. Amen. Come on here. I had to kill this flesh, y'all. I had to. Oh Jesus, I had to kill this flesh, and it hurt. I was like, Oh Jesus. It now, hurt. now listen. I want to tell you something out of her story. She had a made up mind that she wasn't gonna give in to her flesh. 
But look at what she did. She postured herself. She was in prayer. That's the posture. Then she resisted, right? Because coming out of, even coming out of prayer, <laughs> look, you still human. Re resist the devil, he'll flee from you. So watch this. <laughs> she could have opened the door at any time. But because not only was she praying, but her mind was made up that she did not want to just settle for being delivered. Because deliverance got her to that place in the room. I didn't say nothing to you. See, deliverance took her from the place of sin to a place of prayer. Hallelujah. But understand that because of her focus and her resisting temptation, it brought her to her place of freedom. Mm -hmm. And let me just say this to you. Uh, I, I, I want to say this because I think that we don't understand that when we give up what God wants, when we give it to him, he always seems to multiply it and make it more than what it was. And so what am I saying? I'm saying that the thing that's fighting you, the thing that uh, is hard for you to break free from, when you give it to mm -hmm. God and you really fight from a place in the Lord, the Lord will turn around and he'll cause the thing that used to, to, to defeat you and fight you and he'll cause it now to follow you. Now watch this. And following you, now that means you're telling it what to do. Mm -hmm. And that means that anybody uh, in that category, you have the power now to speak to that thing. And it's got to come off that person. I didn't say nothing to you. You can minister to a place of your misery. That's what God is saying. When I, when I deliver and set you free, I now give you the power to minister, hallelujah, to your misery. Because that, when that person comes up to you with the same issue that you once had, you know exactly what to say to them. Mm -hmm. You know exactly the steps that it takes or the prayers that they need to do. You, you already have an idea. You have an anointing. Come on here mm -hmm. to draw that thing out of them. I didn't say nothing to you. That's what it's for. The Lord trusted you enough mm -hmm. to be able to put you in a place where you have to contend for the faith. You got to fight now. You got to allow God to form you. Hallelujah. Form you in his image through that issue and that problem. But you gain power over it now. Hallelujah. So that means that when you start speaking, your words are carrying weight. I say it all mm -hmm. the time. Your words carry weight. You know why they carry in weight? Because you've been watering it. That's because good. when you were crying, mm -hmm. when well, you were crying for your freedom, my God, today, you were watering that word, hallelujah, that was on the, on the inside of your heart. And it causes your words to be heavy now, my God, today. So you're not just speaking light, but you're speaking to the heart, hallelujah. And, you be, you, and now you're able to destroy the yoke of bondage mm -hmm. that people are dealing with. That's why we need free people away with just delivered people. I need somebody free talking to me because at the end of the day, that's what we all want. We just want to be free. It ain't about finance. You want to be free. I, I'm trying to help you. Hallelujah. It's not about uh, uh, this big ministry. You want to be free. Hallelujah. What is what is the, the, the whole point of being in a place of prosperity, but you're miserable uh, or you're struggling? Hallelujah. To stay in a place. You do realize, you know, that's where pride comes in because, you know, you have gotten to a place now. Now you feel like you have to stay in this place as far as status is concerned. So you're not even truthful with yourself. My God, today. And you're going to bust hell wide open, setting people free with what through the word of God. Well, you know, yeah, what you, 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 you're preaching to people. And then at the end of the day, they go to heaven and you go to hell. The mm. devil is a liar. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The devil mm -mm. is a liar. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm going to tell you right now, it's a scripture that says many came in my name, they preached in my name, they prophesied, they, they did all these things in my name. Well, he said. But he says, depart from me, I never knew you. I never knew who you are. I don't know who you are. You, you, you were able to lead people to salvation, but you weren't saved. Mm. Mm. My God today. I'm not going to I'm not going to allow myself. Jesus. You will do Jesus, yourself a Jesus. disservice to save the whole world. Come on here. But yet, and, but yet lose your soul. Come on. Going back to that scripture. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? We always are tied to sin, but we can bring it on over in salvation as well. I need you to understand that it's so important that you do that self maintenance and get free 
I'm talking to every pastor on here, every prophetess, every prophet, every evangelist, every fivefold gift. Hallelujah. Every lay member. Hear me. I don't care what you do. I don't care. I don't care what your bank account look like. I don't care how many followers you got. If you're not free, you're going to hell. I'm trying to help you. You got to get free. And when I say that, hear me, I'm not judging. I'm telling you. Uh, uh, here's, here, here's what I want to tell you. If you're not free and if you're not allowing yourself to get free, what happens is now you could get caught up. Here's the possibility. You could get caught up and die in your sin. That's what I'm talking about. I want to be real with you. I'm going to tell you what's not popular. I'm going to tell you what's not popular. Understand this. When you're coming from a place of freedom, then it's just a battle in your mind and it's not, it doesn't have such a pull on you. You just aware of it. You know that it's there, but you're able to speak to it. Come on here. Your future is greater than your past. Your faith is bigger than the fear. Come on here. That's what that's what the Lord wants you to have. That's what he wants. Listen, he showed us in the uh, uh, when he was tempted uh, fasted 40 days. We just talked about it a couple of weeks ago. He showed us how it works. He used the word of God <laughs> to combat the enemy. He used the word of God and he had to he had to flee. He left. He left. And hear me. You don't hear about no more devil troubles. Ooh, let me put a pin right there. There were no more devil troubles, meaning that there was no more death. The Satan did not come to tempt him any anymore. Mm -mm. Trying to help y'all. Hallelujah. But he tried to use people around him. Come on. <laughs> to just attack him. My God. See, it's a difference from being attacked and being tempted. My God today. Yeah. So that's why that's why it's so important that you get into a place uh, where your mindset is made up. I, lo I love that story when she says that because her mind was made up. It was it was do or die. She wasn't playing with it. Here it is. A lot of us, we, we feel like we just got time. Come on here. I'm talking to you that, that commit the sin and then you, you do that little nickel, nickel prayer. Lord, forgive me for all my sins and go to bed. <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking to you. And I'm, I'm speaking from experience. I used to do the same thing. He did. I used to do the same thing. <laughs> if I if I sinned, and you know, it'd be, you know, with me it was, you know, it was late at night. I would sin. Yeah. Yeah. So I would sin late at night, and then my little nickel prayer would be, Lord, don't let me die and go to hell. And I turn on and go to sleep. <laughs> be knocked out. <laughs> Snoring. Snoring. Come on here. <laughs> knocked out. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm coming to get you. Because I understand it. I, 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 I was it. I know what it is. And, and, and guess what? I know what it feels like, especially when you know you, like, you love what you're doing. It's in your heart. You really, come on, you really love it. Come on, you're just telling God, you know, really, you know, help me not to love it. Come on, y'all don't even saying that, though. At least I said that. Lord, you know, help me not to love it so much. I love it. Mm -hmm. Please help me not to love it so much. Come on here. You got to be real with the Lord. That's what he's saying. And I'll give you what you need. It's on the Lord. Listen, self-control is a fruit of the spirit. Come on, say it with me. Self-control is a fruit of the spirit. That means that it's not in your will. You don't have the ability to control yourself. Oh, I'm trying to help you. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost to hold you. Oh, my God, today. Come on here. You need the Holy Ghost to hold you. Oh, you think because, you know, you know how to stop something that you can control yourself? No, that's just for that time, that moment. Eventually, you'll do it, the right situation. Oh, I'm going to come for all of y'all. Because mm -hmm. all of y'all said some th at some point in time, I would never do this. Quiet. Come on, it's quiet on this Catholic Live now. Come on, you didn't say it before. But then you find yourself doing the same thing that you said you would never do. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has to control yourself. In this flesh dwelleth no good thing. So that means that this flesh is going to do what it wants to do when it wants to do it. Come on. If your mind is in a place where it's weak. Amen. Come on, say amen. That's real. You can't That's get real. no more realer than that. Woo. The Hallelujah. Holy, the Holy Come on, Ghost receive it. It's a keeper, guys. You need the Holy Ghost. Come on. You got mm -hmm. to have the Holy Ghost. Listen, here we go. You ready? It's not enough just to be saved, but you need the Holy Ghost. Now, hear me. Please hear my words. I'm not saying that you can't go to heaven. 
if you don't have the Holy Ghost. I, I, I'm not saying that you, you know, that you have to have the Holy Ghost in order to go to heaven. That's what I'm trying to say. Understand this, but salvation is not enough. Oh my God, today. You need to be filled. You need to be filled with that Holy Spirit, that keeper, that comforter. It was so important that he told them to wait for it. Mm, my God, today. He said, when I leave here, I need you to wait for what's coming to you. I'm going to, I'm going to give you a gift. I'm going to give you something. Hallelujah. That's going to keep you. It's the keeper. Mm -hmm. My God, today. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm talking to you all who discouraged. I ain't feel. Uh, I tried to get feel. I've been tearing. I've been praising. It, it ain't listen. The holy. The Lord wants to give you the Holy Ghost. Just pray for it and believe that God's gonna do it. Some of you ain't got it because when you get discouraged, you just go right back out in the world. We talking to you. Yeah, we talking to you. You go back right back to that habit because you didn't get depressed now because mm -hmm. you didn't get filled with the Holy Ghost. What's going on with you? So so you think by going back to what it is that you used to do. It's going to make God, force God to give you the, the Holy Ghost. No, it don't work that way. You've got to allow yourself. You've got to wait it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. What does it mean to wait? A waiter, a waitress serves. You got to serve it out. Mm. You got to serve it out. While you're waiting, you're serving. While you're waiting, you're serving. Come on. While you're waiting, you're serving. As you begin to serve, whether it's church, ministry, whatever, whatever you're doing, serving unto the glory of God. The Lord will fill you with that Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I remember I, I, I had to wait two and a half, almost three years to get filled. My sister got filled at eight years old. Slept through the whole message. <laughs> Y'all slept through the whole message. Father called up, uh, you know, prayer line. She got up, got down there with her sleepy self. And he laid hands on her. She, she fell to the ground and came up speaking in tongues. Now watch this. We didn't believe that she had it. Me and my brother's like, yeah, right. She over here playing, right? I didn't open my eyes. You know, when I'm on the altar too, I'm, I'm open my eyes like, is she speaking in tongues? I didn't, you know, I didn't believe it. Until we got home, she telling me I need to be, she eight years old. She get in front of me. I, you need to be saved. And she's speaking in, blah, 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 blah. You need to get saved. The Lord wants to save you. I'm like, eight years old? I got scared. <laughs> we got scared. We was in the room scared like, oh my goodness, my sister for real. She the real deal. So, so we couldn't go in there and mess with her dolls no more. We did it while she wasn't in there. We take the heads off and throw them and stuff. We couldn't do it while she, because she was saved. So she had that honor at eight years old. I'm trying to tell you what the Holy Ghost would do in your life. I didn't say nothing to you. It sets you apart for God's use. Hallelujah. Mm. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Well, I got filled the first time. Yeah, so she I did too. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I, that ain't my testimony, y'all. I had to, I had but to, I had come to on. wait. Some of us like me, I after just, we got filled, we got that Holy Ghost, and we, we went right, by, right on back out there. Okay. Because okay? I got filled at 12. And, uh, my but, God. But uh, I don't remember. What I, and what I wasn't asking. Was. And I wouldn't even ask. Actually, when I got filled, I wasn't even asking to be filled. Come I on. just wanted Jesus. Like, I just wanted, I just... I just had a hunger and a thirst for him. I just, and then y'all, y'all know my story. I just had so many things that, yeah, that was hunger going, was there. That, that was going on and I needed him to fix. I needed him to take some pain away. And so going to the altar and crying out for the mm. Lord to save me, got feel, you know, right there. And so speaking in tongue and everything else, y'all, you know, I was prophesying, you know, I prophesied to you. So, but, Amen. Okay. But then, okay. Okay. Well, prophesied at the age of 12. My goodness. <laughs> but then, you know, uh, you know, yeah. she went on back. She she backslid. Okay. And I mean, I backslid, baby. Okay. I was on, I was on a slip and slide back. I slid. heard that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa. She said, you said you took first, second, third, and home, the whole home. <laughs> I sure did. Okay. Like, oh, Jesus. Come you on know? here. And so, but listen, the Holy Spirit is our comforter. He is our keeper. Wow. And so, I, I want, we want you all, uh, to be encouraged. In my Shia. Listen, you are not what you do. In my Shia. But you are who God says you are. My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, and listen, tonight I want you to lift your hands right now. Thank you, Holy God Lord. is here. The Spirit of yes, the Lord, Lord is here right now. Praise God. Lift your hands right now. If Thank you, you need Jesus. to be free.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands Thank right you, now. Ba, 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 sha, God ba, is getting ready to do it right now. Yes, there is Lord. such a freedom he is releasing right now Thank you, Lord. on this live. Father, we love you. Hallelujah. We your every name. chain is breaking. Thank you, Jesus. Every, Lord, every stronghold is breaking. Shia de Messiah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is Father, so. we thank you right now in the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory we thank you for name. your power. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for your grace. Hey, ba, 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 Hallelujah. We thank you for your mercy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for hey, your ba, presence ba, 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 right now. Ba, si, ba, si. Hallelujah. Thank He's you, here, guys. Hallelujah. Glory He's here. Ba, 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 Hallelujah. Ba, si, He's ba, here. Ba, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, lift your hands right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He is here. Thank you, Lord. Come on, he's breaking strongholds off of minds. Hallelujah. Right now. Come on, we need you all to pray with us right now. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I sense somebody needs to be filled, and the Lord wants to do that over this life. Come on, lift your hands. You can be filled with the Holy Ghost right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. I need I need everybody praying right now. Come on. The Holy Spirit wants to perform Hallelujah, miracles Jesus. right now. Signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. The Lord is moving right now. Thank you, Jesus. I need every tongue talking saint. Hallelujah. To begin to speak in your heavenly language. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord wants to fill somebody with the Holy Ghost right now. Hallelujah. You can get it right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, just lift your hands and begin to thank I'm God. Think on how good God has been to you. Thank Hallelujah. You, and as you begin to praise him and lift him up, the Holy Spirit will have his way. Hallelujah. We don't train you. The Holy Spirit gives us to thank us. Jesus. Hallelujah. So you just begin to praise him, begin to give him glory. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody just needs to remember where God has brought you from. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You got to remember what he's done for you. Hallelujah. How you could have died. Hallelujah. Even in your sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody needs to forgive somebody right now. That's what's holding your, that, that, the, the infilling of the Holy Spirit. The Lord says you got to release that person. You got to release Thank that you, person. You got to release that Thank person you, from the things that they've done to you. Hallelujah. That hatred in your Thank heart. You, Jesus. Hallelujah. That bitterness Lord, in your heart. You got hallelujah. to give it to him. The Lord wants to break yokes tonight. Come on, receive it. Hallelujah. Come on, the Lord is breaking strongholds tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. My God, forgive. Hallelujah. And let them go. Hallelujah. Come on, as the tears come from your eyes, come on. Just begin to lift God's name up. Tell him how good he is. Hallelujah. Tell him how much you love him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As you begin to do that, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit will begin, hallelujah, to descend on you. Hallelujah. And take over that room. Every room right now, every Thank household you, right now. Hallelujah. Come on, I don't need you playing with this. I need you praying. Hallelujah. God's trying to change somebody's life tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, help somebody get their breakthrough tonight. Get your breakthrough tonight. Come on here. Hallelujah. Come on, let's pray on one accord that God will begin to fill those, hallelujah, that need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Thank you, hallelujah, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now. We give you glory. Hallelujah, Father. Even now, God, somebody's getting free. Glory. Hallelujah. They're changing. They're coming from deliverance to freedom, Father. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. It shall, it will come to pass. Come on. God's restoring you. He's restoring things that you lost. Come on. Receive it tonight. Hallelujah. God is changing. Hallelujah. The course. Your breakthrough is already happening right now. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Begin to give God glory. Tell him thank you. Come on. Somebody, somebody just needs to work back and holler, Lord. Thank you. Come on. Don't play with it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Come Jesus. on. Release it in this atmosphere. Release it in the atmosphere well, where you are. Is Hallelujah. Come on. The angels. In the de de the angels are ready. Hallelujah. To be on assignment in your life. 
Hallelujah. Come on. Wonderful Savior. Come on. Let's put our angels to flight tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. One can chase one, 10,000. One can chase 1,000 and two can chase 10,000. Hallelujah. Come on. We got many on here. Let's put these angels to flight tonight. Thank Hallelujah. You, My God today. Oh, every stronghold, every yoke of bondage be broken, broken right in now. The in the mighty name of Jesus. You don't have to be with that person any longer, said the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. I give you courage today to walk away from that relationship that's doing you wrong. Somebody right now, you're discouraged because you feel like you've been sick for a long time. God says, I'll deliver and I'll set you free tonight. Hallelujah. If you believe again. If you if you believe that I can do it. Hallelujah. I will. Hallelujah, said the Spirit of the Lord. Ma, 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 she de basi. Hallelujah. Come on, speak from your place of deliverance and get to your freedom. Oh, my God, today, Father, we thank you right now. The shackles are falling off. The chains are mm. falling right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ba, 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 shande de basi. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, God is shifting your life. Receive it. Hallelujah. It's happening for you right now. God is doing it right now in your life. Hallelujah, God. We thank you. We give you glory, God. All the honor belongs to you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. It is so. Wonderful Hallelujah. Savior. Come on, come on. Type in, I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive my change tonight. I receive my shift tonight. In the name of I Jesus. receive my freedom tonight. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody's faith is being renewed right now. God says, I'm renewing your faith. Hallelujah. I'm taking the fear away. I'm renewing your faith. Come on. I'm removing the hurts. Every time I snap my fingers, God is changing somebody's situation. Every time I snap, the Lord is already doing something in somebody's life right now. Wonderful Savior. Thank you, Holy Ghost. It is so. Come on, you got to receive it now. It's happening right now in the realm of the Spirit. Hallelujah. It is so right now. Get ready for the joy of the Lord to take over your life. Hallelujah. No more sadness. Hallelujah. No more sickness. Hallelujah. We release the joy of the Lord in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank it is you, so. Hallelujah. Come on. I prophesy a fresh wind blowing right mm. now. Blow. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I know you felt that. Blow. Blow on your life now. It is so. Oh, Yes, Lord. Wonderful Savior. It is so. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Receive it now. Hallelujah. Your life will never be the same after tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be depressed about your job Hallelujah. tomorrow. Hey, hey, hey. God says, I'm giving you a new assignment at your job tomorrow. Yes, Lord. You just need an assignment at that job. Hallelujah. My God, it ain't time to leave yet because God says I'm not through with you yet. Hallelujah. There's some things I still want you to do. There's somebody I still need you to witness to. Mm -hmm. It's the one that you don't like. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wonderful Savior. And God says, when you take care of my business, I'll begin to shift you and I'll begin to move you to the next place that you need to be in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Wonderful Savior. Whew. Glory to your name now, Father. It is so. My God today. Wonderful Savior. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I sense a mass. I sense a mass. A mass is going to dissolve. A mass is dissolving right now. Hallelujah. I said a mass is dissolving right now. I don't know who this is. Hallelujah. But I know you're a woman. A mass is dissolving right now. God is dissolving a mass. Hallelujah. Wonderful Savior. My God today. Wonderful Savior. I said the Lord is saying, I'm dissolving a mass. He says mass is. So it's more than one. I'm dissolving masses tonight. Hallelujah. My God today. Hallelujah. My God today. I'm dissolving masses. It's benign anyway, but I'm dissolving masses tonight. Mm -hmm. Said the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Yes, Lord, my Ooh, God. Jesus. Fibroids. God says, I'm, mm. I'm dissolving fibroids tonight. Come on, receive it. Hallelujah. Come on, you've been painting. God says, I'm doing it right now. Come on, receive it now. Hallelujah. God is doing it right now. This is the night that mass is dissolved tonight. It's happening right now. Hallelujah. Receive it right now. It is so right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. My God today. Wonderful Savior. Mama Mashika de Basi. Yes, Lord. Yes. Glory to your name. Yes, Lord. It is so. Ah, Mama Masha. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Wonderful Savior. Mm. Hallelujah. My God. Wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. Come on, if God's healing virtue is here, that means that every disease is under arrest. Yeah, every Masha. sickness is under arrest. Hallelujah. Come on. I need you to get Ekatemashan, the Hoso Kodamahande de Basia, the Hosoya. Wonderful Savior. I need you to get like the woman with the issue of blood. Hallelujah. I need you to interrupt. Ekatemashaya. Hallelujah. I need you to interrupt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord and tell the Spirit of the Lord to come. Hanamashian, the Hosoya, and heal and set free. Hababashiande de Basi. Hallelujah. Sickness can't stay. Hallelujah. In my body, this body has to obey what the spirit is saying. Hallelujah. My God today. It is so. Glory to your name. Come on. You got to believe tonight. God is healing tonight. Come on. Receive your healing tonight. Oh, my. Yes, Lord. It's happening right now. My God today. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody's throat. Hallelujah. God is doing something with a sore throat. It's not COVID. God is delivering you, setting you free. Come on, receive it. Hallelujah. It is so right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Come on, receive it. God's doing it right now. Oh, my Shikaya. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful Savior. Receive it tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We praise you right now, God. Yes, Lord. It is so. It is so. Mm. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' My name. My God today. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, Lord, well, I mean, well, guys, we want you all to be blessed in the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We want you to take this with you. Take your freedom with you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory because to your it name. is the prerequisite to the breakthrough. Hallelujah. It is what is needed for the breakthrough. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And listen, we want you all to please share the broadcast. Amen. Hallelujah. Please Come share, on, share it. it. We want others Partisan to be encouraged. Shares. We want others to walk in their freedom. Hallelujah. Thank in the Lord. name of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Father. Hallelujah. Yes, God. We want you all to be blessed. So we're gonna get we're gonna go ahead and get off the live tonight. Uh we're gonna let the Holy Spirit hey. continue to do what He He needs to do in your homes Thank with you, Jesus. you. You know, when you get off this live, listen, go in. Hallelujah. Go in. Ba, 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 Go in. Shia. Go in. Continue, continue to give it to him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He's not done yet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He's not done yet. Hallelujah. Yeah, ba, 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory Thank to you, Jesus. Name. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Peace be unto you all. Hallelujah. And we love you all. Love y'all. Please share the broadcast. Amen. Also, um, we'll, we'll talk about that later. We'll <laughs> we'll talk about the flyer for the, oh, okay. the, the girl talk. But, yeah. Um, hallelujah. Thank you so much. We love you we love all. Love you guys. Thank and you. And we'll Amen. talk to you all next week. So listen, don't forget to share the the broadcast. And also, Please. if you all would do me a favor, I posted a flyer earlier today about the Sister to Sister Nationwide Girl Talk. And we're talking about uh, praying for those that operate in the prophetic. And uh, it's called uh, Check on Your Prophetic Friends. And so I want you all to share that flyer for me. If you Thank don't you. mind, it, you know, if, if you don't want to, if you don't want to share it, then I understand. But if you don't mind sharing it, please 
please go and share it. It's going to be a very uh, powerful, powerful, powerful uh, move of God, mm -hmm. a powerful conversation. And we want you all to be tuned in. Amen. So we love you all and we will uh, talk to you all next week. Next week, guys. Y'all be good. Hallelujah. Thank you for sharing, Mieka. Thank you. Hallelujah.